you thank you for watching our videos you are amazing we appreciate you we love you if you are new here my name is Ade Komi we bring gospel messages to you we pray for people and we make music video if it's something you like I will encourage you to subscribe and stay with us and as you are doing so may the Lord God Almighty bless you and it will make all to be well with you in the name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. Authority in heaven, we give you praise. You are wonderful. You are holy. Lord, we love you. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus Christ, wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. <laughs> Today, by the grace of God, we are looking briefly into a topic called Vesu in Sanctification. Vesu in Sanctification. Vesu in Sanctification, you know, it is good to profess to be a Christian, it is good to have confessed Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior, to be a follower of, of Christ. But, but there, there is an, another important aspect of our salvation, there is another important aspect of our work with God, which is a call from God, which is His will to sanctify ourselves and know how to sanctify ourselves in holiness. Let's read the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 from verse um, to 7. That every one of you should know how to possess his virtue in sanctification and honor, not in the lust of concupiscence, sense, even as Gentiles which know not God. That no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter, because that the Lord is the avenger of all such, as we also have forewarned you and testified. There is a way that the Gentiles behave, the people that don't know God. But there is an expectation from we that claim we know God. The expectation is that we need to consciously separate ourselves unto God. We need to consciously make our life, our body holy. We need to consciously, we need to consciously pursue holiness, deliberately live unto sanctification. It is a call and it is also an honor to, to possess a vessel in sanctification. God wants a vessel. God wants us to be holy continuously. In the book of uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15, the Bible says, But as he which has called you is holy, be ye holy in all manner of conversation. We need to be separated unto God. It's a call. It's a progressive assignment. Never give your vessel to a filthy thoughts. Never give your vessel to, a, to sin. The upper part of it was talking about fornication, abstain from fornication, not, not, not in the lust of concupiscence. Compu concupiscence, I checked the dictionary meaning, which is like a lustful sexual desire. We should come consciously dedicate our hearts unto God, consciously give it to Jesus, consciously separate it unto holiness. How do you do this? By, by, you can satisfy it, you can make it only by the word of God. The Bible says in John 17, 17, sanctify them through thy truth, thy word is truth. So the word of God is, is, a, is a means by which we sanctify our hearts. We grow in the Lord. We separate it unto holiness. And that's why one of the reasons why we bring it, we bring the word of God to you every day, every time. It is to sanctify our hearts. It is to enhance our growth progressively. It's a conscious self -hold. You have to, You have to make this determination. Those are the ways that you can sanctify your vessel through the word of God, making a conscious determination, conscious effort, determining your heart that this thing, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to go back into it. I'm not going to defraud my brother. I'm not going to defraud my sister. I'm, I, all, all I want is to please God. You know, you make that conscious effort. No, no, no. This is not for me. It's not for me. Like somebody giving you, um, maybe somebody stole money somewhere and the person is giving you the money to take and come and be spent, come and spend from there. You are a child of God. You've got to tell the person, oh, I don't spend this type of money. I don't, I don't take this type of a thing. I'm not a particular to this type of a thing. So we need to make that conscious effort. There is a particular sanctification that, that, sanctification that was given unto us at our salvation. That is the, the, fixed, the fixed sanctification. Hebrew 10, 10. By the which will we are sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. 
That was the static sanctification that he got at, at confession at the time he gave your life to Jesus Christ. But there is a progressive one which we need to continually do every day, every now and then through the word of God, taking our stand for Jesus. And you can also achieve this by learning more of God, think more of him in prayer, always think of how to glorify God. Make sure the word of God fill your heart every day. And I pray the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. That is at the other side of this message. It says that, that no man go beyond and defraud his brother in any matter because that the Lord is the avenger of all such as we also have, have forewarned you and testified. You know, if we refuse to sanctify our vessel, for instance, defrauding somebody else, taking what does not belong to us. The Bible says, God will avenge us of all such. We have been warned. Amen. We have been warned. He said, God will avenge us. May, 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 we, may we not see the wrath of God upon our lives in the name of Jesus. So don't do it. Anything that, that is not clean, anything that looks like defrauding others, taking what does not belong to us, let's not do it. Verse 7 says, For God has not called us unto uncleanliness, but unto holiness. There is a call, apart from the fact that I profess to be a Christian, there is a call unto holiness, not unto uncleanliness. Everything that looks like uncleanliness, don't put your hand in it. I pray the Lord God Almighty will help us in the name of Jesus. The Lord God Almighty will strengthen you. He will continue to give you the grace. He will, he will establish your feet. He will make you to stand firm in him. He will sanctify you. He will, he will purify you. He will guide you to the day he will come. To the day he will come. And we shall reign with him in the name of Jesus. The Lord give you strength. The Lord empower you to stand against that temptation. The Lord give you the grace to always learn of him, to always study his word, to always listen to him, to always pray and be the favorite of God in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace. To always belong to Jesus. Receive the grace to always stand for Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Ayakata kata. E kete 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 kete. E la troko toko bo shalaba. E droko toko to bregela gadaba. Receive the grace to always stand for Jesus. Receive the grace to always stand for him. Receive the grace to always stand with him. Receive the grace to possess your vessel in sanctification. In the name of Jesus. Mashakata kara. E koto bregela gadaba. And as you are possessing your vessel in sanctification whatever be your ad desire whatever be your want whatever be your, whatever be your desire whatever you have been trusting God for by the grace and the mercy of the Lord receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray the spirit of the Lord will not depart from your life the hand of the Lord will not leave you his grace we continue to follow you his mercy we continue to follow you all the days of your life in the name of Jesus. Ayakalaba de kekekeke e koto koto ko prekalagara ayato koto 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 prekalagara endre keteke bo shalaba e koto ko prekalagara. I can see a child having a stunted growth. From now onward, I prophesy to that child, that small child, begin to grow speedily. Now, in the name of Jesus. Everything that is drying, everything that is short, everything that is not growing up to expectation in your life. Receive the hand of the Lord and begin to run now in the name of Jesus. God is setting your feet on the solid rock. He is setting your feet on the solid rock. You shall not be moved. You shall not be moved. You shall not be moved. You will sing a new song by the mercy of the Lord. You will sing a new song by the hand of the Lord. You will sing a new song by the grace of the Lord. In the name of Jesus. Galagara, a coto bregalagra, a cateke tegere, re coto bo socoto, le cataba shalaba. The Lord says, I shall say to you, surely, very verily, you shall be great. A coto bregalagara, somebody watching me, you shall be great. You shall be lifted. It shall be well with you in the name of Jesus. A jacadagere, a coto co bregalagara basso cotori calaba. Glory be to your name in the highest. Father will bless you in Jesus. 
Christ's wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for listening. Uh, your miracle shall be permanent. Um, are you watching me? Are you still living in sin? Do you want to give your life to Christ? If you don't mind, can you say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for sending your word unto me today. Thank you for sending your blessings unto me today. Father, Lord Jesus, I recognize myself as a sinner. Father, please forgive me my sin. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Write my name in the book of life. I want, to, I want to continue to follow you. I want to continue to love you. Thank you for answering my prayers. For in Jesus Christ, wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. If you say that prayer, genuinely congratulations. You are now a born again Christian. I want, to, I want you to continue to follow the Lord. Continue to love him. Continue to sanctify your vessel in Continue to possess your virtue in sanctification. And I pray the Lord oh God Almighty will help you. It will help me in the name of Jesus. If you like this video, I want you to give it a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. I love you and I will see you next time. Bye. <laughs>